Hi everyone, my name is Poa from Technical Support Southeast Asia. I'm going to show a simple demo of synchronization between CMMT and CMMB. We'll be using the x port of the CMMT and connect to the pulse train input terminal of the CMMB. Next, I will show you the hardware configuration on both the controller. We'll start off with the CMMB configurator. As you can see here, we are using CMMB AS01 for the CMMB motor controller. And for the motor, we are using the JY configuration. For this group from configuration, we can check on the operation manual to know that the motor is actually EMMB AS4001. For the CMMB demo set, we do have an actual assist and we are using EGSK 2075-6P here. As seen in the data sheet, the spindle pitch is 6 mm per rotation and the maximum speed is 0.79 m per second. Take note on these two values as we will be using them later. We will be going to the CMMT configuration next using Festor Automation Suits. As we can see here, we are using CMMT AS EC controller paired with another EMMB motor. However, we do not have an actual assist here for the CMMT demo set. But please take note the fit concern for the configure assist is 12 mm per rotation. Now we will go into the parameter configuration for the controllers. As per mentioned, we are using X10 port of the CMMT as master. And the encoder emulation source, we will set it at encoder 1. We will tick the output activations and untick the deactivation during homing. We also need to tick the direction reversal for our case. We have also set the increments per revolutions at 1024. Next, we are going into the record table. As seen here, we are setting the target position at 90mm and max velocity of the CMMB axis. We are setting both the acceleration and deceleration at 2. Once the execution completed, we will transition to record table 3 with the same settings but target position at 0mm. We have also set two record tables with low speed at 0.1 meter per second with 0 and 90 millimeters as the target position. We will now go back to the CMMB configurator. For the CMMB to function in pulse train mode, we need to set the EA02 parameter to the value of 2 as seen in the manual. We will be able to see the operation mode value at negative 4, which is the pulse train control and PDCW value at 2, which is the AB pulse mode. Next, we'll look at the motor settings. We can see that the feedback resolution is 65536 pulse per revolution. This is different from what we have set at the MCMMT. Hence, we we'll need to do some calculation to obtain the gear factor. We know that one pulse from CMMT is equivalent to four pulse in CMMB. Therefore, we multiply 1024 by 4, then we will use 65536 to divide it. We will get the value of 64. But remember that our speed pitch is 6mm in CMMB and 12mm as configured in CMMT. So we will need to divide the 64 by 2 again and we will obtain the gear factor of 32. Last but not least, we are going into the demo video of our synchronization. We will first home both the CMMT and CMMB. As you can see on the right hand side of the screen, there's a live video of the CMMB axis and we are using codices visualization to represent the CMMT axis. Now we will first run the motor under low speed to target positions of 90 millimeters and back to 0 millimeters. We can see that both axes are moving in sync. And now, we will run the motor at max speed. When we randomly slot the motor, we can observe that the both axes are still in sync. Next, we will trigger the motor to run in loop. Then we will open the scope of CMMB configurator to check on the position error. We are sampling the data in the span of 1 second. As we can see here, the position error is about 800 pulse. Through calculation, we found that the position error is less than 0.1 millimeters. And here is the end of my video. Thank you for watching.